me, the amazing Savannah. Hi! And I'm here with my beautiful, gorgeous sister. She's never been in one of my videos, so I thought that I would kind of premiere her to you because she's so wonderful. Today's video is going to be all about skincare, what we do for our nightly routine, uh, considering face washing and stuff that we use to make our skin look good. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to start by taking off our makeup. We use makeup wipes to take off our makeup, all of our sunscreen, dirt, oil, all that yucky stuff. I'm using the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. But the ones I will be using are the Exfoliating Facial Wipes. These are just really cheap. I believe I got these at like CVS and like 3 bucks, and it comes with 30 so they're really good. onto your gross towel, gross, my eye makeup, my tinted moisturizer, <laughs> all kinds of dirt, bacteria, oil. Once you've got that all off, go ahead and toss it in. We'll start with our cleansing. So normally I use um, my Clarisonic, um, I use the Clarisonic Plus, it's a three speed. I use this mostly, I use it every day, but I use it mostly at night. Um, it's just really a great cleansing tool to remove lots of dirt and oil, but Savannah doesn't have one, so for the sake of this um, video, we're just going to use our normal cleanser. So, um, I use my Clinique um, Acne Solutions Bar Soap. I absolutely love it. I go through a bar. It takes me a while to go through a bar. It's relatively inexpensive. I think it's like twelve fifty for a um, a bar soap, and it, you'll go through it forever. It's actually for the face and body. It has two percent salicylic acid in it, and I can't believe I'm showing you guys my no makeup, ugly, dirty face right now. I just realized. <laughs> but we, we both love it. Yeah, but um, anyway, yeah, salicylic acid. It's really great for people who are more acne prone or who are more oily, more congested. I have combination skin. It works great for me without drying me out too bad, like some of those. Um, other, I won't name, um, but other acne um, medicated face washes that are really aggressive and really harsh. And my sister's also a soon to be licensed esthetician, so she knows great about the skincare. She gives me a lot of face wash, so a lot of good tips from her. Um, the one I will be using today is the oil free acne wash. I recently just purchased this, and it smells like, what is it, grapefruit? And it smells really good, and it's supposed to work really good, and it has salicylic acid, and which my sister has been telling me is a great, great thing for, what does it actually do? It just is great for killing the bacteria that causes blemishes, it helps to exfoliate, um, regenerate cell turnover, and uh, just cleanse and cut down the um, excess oil and dirt. So let's start cleaning. We wiped our faces with a clean paper towel. It's just the most sanitary way to dry your face. Sometimes if you don't have a chance to wash your towels a lot and you're using the same hand towel to dry off your face, um, you're putting the same dirt and bacteria and oils um, that have been sitting on that towel for days and days at a time. Um, so use a fresh, clean paper towel. Okay, so after we cleanse, we're going to exfoliate, just a gentle exfoliation. Okay, so this is the Clinique um, Clarifying Lotion number three out of the collection of one through four in the Clarifying Lotion um, toners. Um, number three is the one with salicylic acid in it, which again is important for Savannah's eyes skin. It's not for everybody, um, especially those with drier or sensitive skin, but we have a little bit more um, combination skin, so we can use it. So we have our cotton balls with our toner, and we're just going to swipe all over our face once over. And you'll see our cotton balls usually get, the toner usually gets what our makeup um, cleansing or our makeup removers and soaps left behind. And also dead skin. Ew, that's gross. I can't yeah. believe I showed that. <laughs> okay. Toss. <laughs> and then our next step is going to be our, um, our uh, blemish spot treatments. So Savannah and I both have blemishes right now. We both have different solutions. 
the one that I use is the e.l.f. zip zapper. So this is the roll-on zip zapper and it's not my favorite and my sister was mentioning about it that it's not great to have on a roll-on because the bacteria from your previous use can get back onto your other. So sometimes I like to take a con swab or you know sometimes I'm lazy and I'll just roll it on. But this is the treatment that works for me. It works great. I it, Two days max, my pimple will really de decrease. So it's a great uh, product for only a dollar. And then I'm using um, a Cell Silk Spot Treatment. I'm using the um, Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. It's got 2% salicylic acid in it. It's a little bit more, but guess what, guys? Salicylic acid is salicylic acid. The only thing that matters, um, whether it's a drugstore brand or e.l.f. brand or any kind of brand, when you're choosing your salicylic acid, is the percentage. You want to go for something that's between 2 and 5%, um, and that's probably going to be the most effective. So we're going to take our spot treatments and treat our pimples. So Savannah and I are both using salicylic acid treatments on our face right now, but um, it's not for everybody and it's not for every pimple. Every pimple is different. Um, have you ever felt those ones that kind of hurt before they come up and they, um, you'll even feel them kind of a couple days before you see them? Um, that's called cystic acne and the best things to treat those are benzoyl peroxide. This is a great cheap benzoyl peroxide gel from Target. It's like a Target brand, maximum strength. And I think the percentage, what is the percentage of benzoyl on here? 10%. Um, so you put this on just a tiny little bit on your blemish before you go to bed at night for those undergrounders and that's going to really help to clear them up in the morning. So again, salicylic acid is not the cure-all for um, every skin type or for every blemish. You really have to think, is it um, you know, a whitehead? Is it something that's more underground? Um, and the best person to consult is either your dermatologist or your esthetician. The last thing that I want to mention is I, um, both me and my sister, as she already mentioned, have combination skin. Um, I particularly have a lot more blackheads than her. Um, so salicylic acid can really help me with that. And also, I don't break out in huge mounds. But every once in a while, I'll get that typical breakout in certain areas. And this really helps. Okay, next step we're going to do is our eye creams. Um, Savannah is using the All About Eye Serum with a little rollerball. It's got a medical grade stainless steel rollerball, so it keeps it really cool to the touch. It's great for puffier eyes um, or just, you know, any eyes that are puffy or have dark circles. So she's going to use that one. And then I'm using Lancome's um, Renergy Eye Multi Action um, Eye Cream. Um, it's kind of cool. It um, doubles as an anti-aging um, eye cream down at the bottom. It's really creamy. It's great for fine lines and wrinkles, which Savannah doesn't have to worry about yet. And then the top is actually a little um, mirrored um, con concealer kind of deal on the top. I never use that because I usually put this on at night. So um, we're just going to put our eye cream on. Okay, we got our eye cream on. Last but not least is going to be our nighttime moisturizer. Savannah is going to use the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. It's the Step 3 from Clinique. Um, obviously, we're big Clinique fans here. I worked for the company for five years, and I really believe in their skincare, so I passed that on to Savannah. Um, this moisturizer is great for just balancing out your oil and water. It's lightweight hydration. It's great for all skin types. It's just going to nourish your skin and rebalance out that oil and water ratio. And then I'm using actually a Clinique moisturizer myself. I'm using the, the Turnaround Night Cream. It's brand new and reformulated um, in this year, 2011. Um, it has um, triple exfoliating properties to it, so it's really great for more mature skin um, or just anybody who needs a little extra exfoliation. Don't forget your neck and degloté. Really make sure that you get that area too. That's often um, one area we forget when both cleansing and moisturizing. Um, it, it gets um, it gets sun and, and dirt and oil just like your face does too. So don't forget. Savannah just made it funny. She said, "Why is it a degloté? Why isn't it called a necklace? It's your neck." 
Never heard that one before. <laughs> Signing off, wishing you clean faces and happy dreams. We hope this video helped. And uh, again, please subscribe, comment below. I don't really know what those mean, but <laughs> I always see people in YouTube videos do that. So well, there you go. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>. Let me, let me get my hair fixed, please. Your hair is not fixable. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>